Recording has started. Great. I almost forgot that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been bad. <laughs> all right. So for all of you guys who don't know, we're starting to record our things. So we're going to be posting this on, I think, YouTube after this, right? So say mm -hmm. hi to YouTube. <laughs> Hey yeah, guys. We're sponsored by Rake Shadow Legends, so you know you yeah. guys should definitely get on that. We're legit. <laughs> of course we are. We're also sponsored by uh, NordVPN. No, we're not. Yeah, yeah, we we're working on that Audible so on that Audible sponsorship just for you guys. Don't worry. There's like those three or four companies that just sponsor every single YouTube video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when Amazon. Oh like, my God. Yeah. Dollar Shave Club. Also, you know, YouTube statistics tell us that only 27% of you guys are subscribed, so make sure to subscribe to UPE or. Whatever those people. Rich wallet. All right. Okay. We got David Lara. Nice. Hello, fresh, right? <laughs> so, welcome, everybody. Honestly, I invite you all to turn on your cameras if you haven't already, just so we can have like a really nice feeling of everyone being alive here and talking to real people instead of just corporate AIs, sentient AIs. We're I'm already dead. <laughs> uh, I mean, my laptop is dead. Oh, no. And that has my camera. <laughs> We're going to start in three more minutes. We're going to let people come in. Yeah, that's, that's what I meant. <laughs> I'm ready for, next, for this semester and for this whole entire year. Wow. And more coming my way. Nice. Pleasure to see you guys here. Let's see. Let's it's nice there. to meet you too, Matt. It's dinner time, everyone's eating. <laughs> oh, wait, I have the power. Oh, you guys don't realize what I can do here. I can mute all of you guys. No. I'm sorry, guys, it has to be done. I'm going to snap. Now you guys are muted. OK, let me unmute the program directors real quick, because they're kind of important. <laughs> We see Catherine, we have, there's a lot of people in this meeting. Wow, it's nice to see all you guys here. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a solid while. So yeah. Right. I'm just reading this Discord chat and it's something else, I'm telling you. Okay. Get the speaker notes up. Oh yeah, you know I'm wearing my shell hack shirt, Isabel. It's it's right here underneath. It's just so magenta that it throws off the color balance of my camera, so I have to actually do that. Okay, 605, let's go. So welcome everybody to our fall kickoff meeting. It is such a pleasure to see you all here. I feel like it's been a while since we've all connected as an org. So it's a pleasure having everybody here. Can everybody hear me all right? Can everyone see the screen? Thumbs up. Great, awesome. So Carlos is there, everyone's here, great. So let's get started. So. UPE, this is our fall kickoff meeting. It's a pleasure to have you all here. Let's go over the agenda real quick. We're gonna try and get through stuff real quickly. So we have, first of all, we're gonna tell you about us as these things usually go, if you've ever been to one of our meetings before. Then we're gonna go into our membership benefits. We're gonna talk about our programs. We're gonna give some other announcements. And then we have a super secret minor little cool surprise at the end of the presentation. So let's get started. This is the part where I talk for a long time. Our e-board right here, this is the, Okay, so there goes my green screen. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, everyone saw that. So this is our executive board. We have 30 members as of right now, and they are in order. Myself, the president, executive VP, Carlos Neira. We have the director of membership, Catherine. You have the associate director of membership with 
Tatan Daishi Mahaka, you have Director of Finance, Hoi Ling Ong. You have Director of Logistics, Ivan Reyes. You have the Director of Marketing, Shauna Sit. You have the Associate Director, Tiffany Reyes. You have the Director of Communications, Adriana Sandino. Associate Director, Justin Benegas. The Director of Social and Digital Media, Hoi Ong. Associate Director, Danae Fernandez. You have the Associate Director of Tech, Maurice Barnes. Director of Industry Relations, Raheem Madriz. You have La Via Manager, Oscar Barbara, Barbosa. You have Associate Manager Juan Grajales, the Historian John Puto Graham, the CSO Representative Christoph Little, and the SJ Representative Christopher Lugo. God, love them. And then we have our Program Directors as well. Director of VP Code, Da Juan Harris. Director of VP Make, Charles King. Director of VP Infotech, Nathan Pavon. Director of VP Advance, Gabriela Gutierrez. Director of VP Ignite, Diana Barrero. UP Spark Dev Director, Yusuf Abdul Salam. The director of UPE Mentor, Azar Ali. The director of UPE Shell Hacks, Yasmin Abdraba, with co-director, Kevin Lasada. The director of UPE Discover, Adrian Perez. And the faculty advisor, Dr. Peter Clark. So thank you, Dr. Clark. So what is UPE, right? We get that question a lot. And I think the best answer to that question is this video by our very own Hoi Ang. So let's go ahead and play it. Honestly, just the president says it best. Like, UP, we're a great organization. We've done a lot, and there's a lot that, to be proud of. So let's continue on then. How do I get out of here? Great. No, I don't play that again. Okay. So we are Matt. the largest student organization for tech at FIU. Okay. Right? This is a nice picture of one of our previous. Wait, can you still not hear anything, Yasmin? The, the video sound wasn't on. We couldn't hear the video. No, you couldn't hear the video. Oof. All right. Let's. Uh, Let's try that again. Actually, should we try that share again? Share audio? Share audio? I'm pretty sure I share the audio. Let's do it again. This time, share computer sound. Wow. You see, we're a tech organ. Even we can't use Zoom properly. Jesus. Imagine the teachers. So, you want to watch the video again? Let's watch the video again. There we go. most awesome, most impactful student organization that we have on campus. So I want to congratulate you for being uh, involved. I'm muted. Like we said before, President said it best, honestly. Love Rosie. So let's make sure we're sharing this properly again. That would be nice. Share, share. Okay. Oh, no, don't do that. Okay, let's move on. So we are the largest student organization for tech at FIU. All right. This is one of our pictures of the pre-COVID age of one of our old general meetings. And you can see we just have a huge, big community. 
We have a lot of people, a lot of friendly faces, and we have over 700 active members. We have nine very valuable programs. We are recognized locally and nationally for our accomplishments. We're sponsored by top companies, and we're supported by CEC and SCIS at FIU. Our mission is to foster a community that empowers students to succeed in the world of technology. All right. So here are some of our achievements. We've got a standing chapter from UP National in 2024, the fourth time in a row. We have the Outstanding Engineering Organization Award from FIU Council for Student Organizations, multiple Outstanding Service Awards from FIU, and here are some of our corporate sponsors. All right, these aren't small sponsors either. These are some major sponsors that give you opportunities to connect with. We have Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Amazon. I'm not going to list all these, but you can see the logos for yourself. They're a pretty big deal, all right? So. A lot of good sponsors here for Shell Hikes and more. So what do you get for joining UP? What are our membership benefits? Well, they were open and free to all FIU students and anyone who joins UPE gains access to the following benefits. You gain access to all of our programs. You gain access to exclusive scholarships only for UPE inductees. You get special graduation memorabilia. You get your name on a graduation book. You get letters of recommendation. You get leadership positions in UPE itself and more. All right, so here are some of our upcoming events. We have our second general meeting Friday, October 16th at six o'clock. We have our fall gaming tournament Friday, October 30th. We have our final general meeting December 4th. And then we have our fall induction ceremony on December 12th at a future time. All right, so if that sounds good to you, which it should, then you should sign up at go.fiu.edu forward slash UPE member. You'll be doing us both a favor. All right, so let's talk about some of our programs now. Uh, Juan, let me unmute you real quick so you can go ahead and talk about code. You are unmuted, I think. Yeah, go for it. Hey, everyone. Uh, my name is Dewan Harris, and I'm the director of code. I want to thank you all for coming to the first general meeting. Uh, and I would like to go ahead and talk a little bit about code. Um, so the goal of code, uh, I think you move to the next slide. Uh, the goal of code is to teach software development skills through interactive workshops. Uh, the benefits that you get out of this is that you get to experiment with new languages and frameworks, you get to build tons of applications, and you get to boost your resume. So for this semester, we do have a we have a few events, or a few core events uh, that we'd like to invite you all to attend. Um, the first one is going to be our web dev workshop. Uh, that's next Friday. After that, we'll have a part two. Uh, and then we'll continue on with building APIs with Node and mobile development with React, with React Native. So um, for this first general meeting, I'm happy to announce that Code is going to have a cohort program. So all of our workshops will be open and free to, and to the public to attend. Um, but if you'd like to use a little bit more experience in some advanced topics, I want to invite you to apply to our cohort program. And this program, you'll be building applications while learning new web and mobile technologies. You'll participate in private workshops that are only for cohort participants. You'll receive access to a community of people learning the same things, and you'll learn more advanced topics in web and mobile development. So I would invite you to apply, and on the next slide, you'll see the application link. Um, yes, I, I see some of the comments. Everything will be online. I would invite you to go ahead and apply at this link right now. Applications close August 31st and our orientation will be September 3rd. So thank you guys. All right, so next up we have UPE Make with the director, Charles King. So let's unmute him real quick. There you go, go ahead, Charles. Hey everyone, my name is Charles. I'm the director of UPE Make. Um, our goal is to teach hardware development through both hands-on and interactive workshops. Some of the benefits that you're gonna be getting from participating with UPE Make you're going to learn the fundamentals of embedded systems. You're going to build some really cool devices using simple tools. And you're also going to be getting a boost on your resume because the, pro the projects that we do during the workshops, you're going to be able to put it on your resume. Um, some of the workshops that we're going to be having for the semester, we're going to be having Arduino workshop part one. That's going to be September the 10th uh, at 6 p.m. You're going to be able to learn how to interact with Arduino as well as with other peripheral sensors, distance sensors, server motors, that type of stuff. Other than that, we're also going to have the 3D modeling workshop, which is also going to have a 3D pen workshop as well. So if you want to learn how to model different things and as well make things in real life, make sure to attend those. As well, we're going to have the Raspberry Pi workshop where we're going to be able to learn how to interact with an LED strip. And I don't know if you've ever heard of the Nano Leaf, 
but basically we're going to be recreating the nano leaf so that you could maybe have something in the background where when you have uh, your classes things like that um also like uh like code said uh, uh, we're also going to be having a cohort program so if you'll be interested we're going to be building a variety of different embedded and robotic devices as well as modern 3d graphics you're going to be able by participating in our program and signing up participating in collaborative risk-free environments. You're gonna learn the fundamentals as well as the, hard, the advanced hardware skills in these private workshops, as well as getting hands-on experience with Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, 3D pens, and 3D modeling software. So I highly, highly encourage, encourage you to apply to the UPE Make program if you're interested in this type of stuff. Thank you. All right, thank you, Charles. So next up, we have UP Infotech led by Nathan Pavon. So Nathan, let me unmute you real quick and then you can go ahead. All right, go ahead. Yo, what's up guys? I'm the director of the Infotech program at UPE. Uh, let's go to the next slide. So our goal with this particular program is that we want to give students IT skills that range in fields such as like cybersecurity, and DevOps and the like, which is pretty like a large umbrella of like different things. But that's what makes it particularly interesting because of so many uh, topics that it covers. So uh, in terms of benefits in our program, you get to learn many in-demand technologies like uh, Docker, for example, or learning like IT automation. Um, you get to sharpen your IT skills for those that probably have you know some experience in the field but they need a little bit more knowledge that could really benefit them in their in their career and we'll introduce you to cybersecurity concepts and other things in that regard because that seems to be pretty in demand nowadays especially considering that we're uh, everything's online now <laughs> so yeah next slide so current events these are all of the events that we're going to be having that are open to everybody um, the Linux workshop will be on Friday, September 11th at 6 p.m. IT automation workshop, Friday, October 9th at 6 p.m. That workshop in particular will be using a technology known as Ansible. Uh, malware analysis workshop, which is more like a, sort of like in the reverse engineering type of field. That will be on Friday, October 30th at 6 p.m. And the Docker workshop, like I mentioned previously, that's more like DevOps, will be on Friday, November 13th at 6 p.m. So with Infotech, we have a membership program, which will basically foster a sort of community with like-minded ind individuals that are interested in this particular field, because I know that's, uh, that's something that I think a lot of people are kind of like missing in terms of uh, their knowledge, uh, things in regards to like uh, IT and cybersecurity concepts, especially with CS students in particular. So with this program, we have a 12 week Network Plus certification prep course. It's only available to members who apply. So I encourage you to apply just for that, among other things. Uh, exclusive access to any internal events that we will be having. And you get to engage in a collaborative, risk free learning environment with others who are interested in the same things that you are. So, with that, Apply now, go.fiu.edu slash UPE programs and choose Infotech. Yep. So with that, I leave you with Gabriela Gutierrez of UPE Advance. Hey everyone. So yeah, my name is Gabriela Gutierrez and I am the UPE Advance Director. Next slide, please. Okay, so the goal of ADVANCE is basically to provide you with the knowledge to develop professionally in the field of tech. So we do this by helping you develop technical and soft skills. Uh, we also help fix up your resume so it looks awesome. Uh, and, you know, to help recruiters and employers easily locate your skills. Um, and uh, we also provide um, networking opportunities so you can land an internship or a job. Um, if you're already connected to the UP Discord, um, you can find some opportunities already listed um, in the opportunities section under academic and career. Next slide. Okay, so through Advance, uh, we have had over 100 members land either internship or full-time jobs. Next slide. 
Okay, yeah, so as you can see here, uh, we've had members land positions in Tesla, Google, Amazon, you, you know, State Farm, you name it. In um, the next slide, um, also Microsoft too. So again, our goal is to make sure you're ready professionally. Uh, we want you to land a job that, um, or internship um, in a reputable company. So these are the events that we're gonna be having. Uh, we're gonna have launching your career in tech, which will be September 2nd, uh, building your resume September 16th, conquering your behavioral interview, that'll be October 28th, and uh, this is new, a special intern panel, um, which will be November 18th. So all these will be held at, oh, wait, well, all, all the events will be held at, <laughs> at, um, at seven. So if you got like a nine to five, you know, hopefully you can make it. Um, yeah, now you can go to the next slide. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so like most of the other programs, um, we're gonna have a cohort program. Um, so pretty much with the cohort program, um, you'll have the opportunity to be an advanced member, right? Cool. Um, so like our advanced events, you know, it's geared towards, you know, professional development and technology that hasn't changed, um, but it goes more in depth. So we'll be having um, a technical interview prep program. So pretty much it'll be like 10 weeks and we'll be providing um, coding problems and solutions um, using leak code. So if you're trying to work on your technical skills, you know, I'd encourage you to you know, get on that. Um, we will also have a couple internal events, uh, more resume reviewing, um, and also mock interviews with UPE um, alumni that have experience in the industry. Um, again, this will be exclusive content for advanced members. So if you're interested, you can apply at go.fiu.edu slash UP programs. And now I'll hand over the virtual mic to Diana. Thanks guys. Hi everyone. My name is Diana Barrero and I am the director of UPA Night. UPA Ignite is, um, can you go to the next slide? Yeah, UPA Ignite is a community outreach program where we teach, um, co where we teach computer science to um, middle school and elementary school students. Um, we, the main goal of our program is to ignite the passion of technology in our community. Many of the benefits that this program can offer to you is to be the change in your community, to receive community service hours at the same time, and to be able to develop your communication, leadership, and other skills along the way. Um, applications are now open, if, and if you go to the next slide, you can see that our program orientation is going to take place this, September, um, this Wednesday of September 16th at 12 p.m. And the end of the program meeting is going to take place on Wednesday, December 9th, um, which is one week right before finals. Um, so that doesn't interfere with the meeting at all. Um, and um, last, I want to mention Code Fest, which is our, um, our last event of the year. Code Fest is our la um, a large coding event for um, where students from all ages in the community get to program and compete while they learn computer science. Um, I encourage you all to apply. If you go to the next slide, you can see um, why you should join our program. Well, if you have the passion to teach the next, um, the, the next generation of engineer, engineers, and if you have the passion to be a change in your community, you don't need any CS experience to um, be a part of the program, and you don't need um, any, uh, and, and all, the work, uh, all the majors are welcome. So if you're in IT and any major that you're part of, from, you can apply to our program. Um, you're going to get the chance to network with fellow students, to build your resume, and at the same time, like I mentioned before, you're going to be able to get some community hours, which you may need if you're in the college, um, um, in, in, in FIU college, for example. Um. All right, I think she just got muted real quick. There you go. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, so you can go ahead and apply um, at the same place where you apply for all of the other programs at go.fiu.edu UPE programs. And now I'll hand it over to Spark Death, Joseph. Go ahead. Get some tension in there. All right, go ahead, Yosef. Is Yusuf unmuted? He's unmuted. Go ahead. Sorry about that. Hello everyone, and I'm going to talk about today. Right now, I'm going to talk about SparkDev. Next slide. SparkDev goal is to build STEM projects in nine weeks to learn about any interest or passion. 
What are the benefits of being part of SparkDev? Well, you can learn the latest technologies, the tech tools, frameworks that are currently being used in industry. You can get valuable experience in working in team environments and also learning, learning agile methodologies. And the best thing of all, you can build these projects where you can put them on your resume and it's completely risk-free, meaning that your GPA won't be jeopardized. Next slide. And I would like to thank our sponsors. First of all, the FIU Honors College. And just to let you know, guys, if you're part of the Honors College, you'll get engagement points just by completing the nine weeks of SparkDev. We also are sponsored by the FIU Information Technology Department. And last but not least, Microsoft, which will be hosting two of their teams this semester. And the part that everybody wanted to hear about, where are gonna be our team? Oh no, wait, current events, sorry for that. Okay, so current events. Um, if you get selected for SparkDev, you can attend SparkDev orientation on Wednesday, September the 9th at 7 p.m. We'll also be having a special mid-semester event, which is chosen by you guys, our members. It can be either a workshop with faculty or alumni or also industry members. It can be a social event where you can get your head out of the coding and the thinking and all that stuff and just have a good time with other SparkDev members. We also have our SparkDev Hackathon, which is usually a week before SparkDev Demo Day, where you can make that last push um, before uh, you have to demo the project. And finally, our signature event, which is SparkDev Demo Day. You'll get to demo the project that you've worked uh, during the nine weeks to faculty, industry people, and your other uh, SparkDev members and UPE members. And now the real good, the, the good thing, which are our teams. This semester we'll be hosting an artificial intelligence, game dev team, also mobile dev team, web dev team, next slide. We'll be having robotics. Our virtual reality team is, great, is making a great comeback and we'll be having for the first time our public health technology team to help um, guide our new normal lives with this pandemic. We'll also have the IT team, the information technology team sponsored by FIU IT. And last but not least, we have partnered with The Underline and Dreaming Green, which are two um, nonprofits working here in South Florida to host our Microsoft Teams. And last but not least, guys, um, first of all, if you're interested, go ahead and apply to go.fiu.edu slash UPE programs. And if you uh, have been part of SparkDev before, I want to see guys on the chat, go ahead and write down what team of SparkDev have you been part of before? Or what team do you think you would like to apply right now? Thank you so much. And now I'm gonna pass it on to Ashar. Yo, what's good everyone? How is everyone doing this Friday? My name is Azar Lee, and I am the director of UPE Mentor. We used to be Mentor FIU, but this semester we're going with UPE Mentor. Um, next slide, please, Matt. Um, so what we do at UPE Mentor is that we provide mentorship to all sorts of students for, at UPE. We provide mentorship to students that are just starting out in their, in their CS education and help them get the skills that they need to be successful at FIU by pairing them with experienced students that have been through the process before. And we also pair these students, these experienced students with industry mentors that have been in the field and that could give them professional advice and experience to help them get the, um, the internships that they need. Um, so some of the benefits that you could get um, that you can get are that you can get all the advice that you need um, in order to be successful. You can network with industry experience, and you could build your resume. I know personally speaking, when I was a mentee in the program, I was very lost. But when I um, when I was a mentee, my mentor showed me how, ways on how to become academically ready, professionally ready, and ready for the job market, which ended up helping me get an internship at Facebook and being um, ready for all sorts of what I wanted to be successful for. Next slide, please. So what we have this semester, we have a bunch of amazing events happening. If you sign up for the UPE Mentor Program, you will be invited to the Mixer happening next week, um, next week on the 9th. 
um, that might be a Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. I can't honestly remember, but you will get to meet all of the different mentors and mentees that are enrolled in the program. And you get to see who would be a good uh, fit for you. And you get to pick basically who would you would like to be paired with. And then the week after we'll be having our orientation where all the pairs are chosen and that you finally get to know like all the good stuff that is happening and how this program really works. Next, we will be having our speaker series event on November the 13th, where we'll be having a special, special guest coming in and uh, possibly from Microsoft or some, one of our, uh, our industry um, to come in and talk about their experiences in the tech field. Last semester, we had the Coding Sisters come and talk about their experiences with the imposter syndrome. So I'm very excited for this event this semester. And then finally, on November the 20th, we'll be having the Navigating Your Major event. Have you ever wondered what professors are best to take for your major? Have you wondered how to navigate and figure out what classes you should be taking and all that good stuff? Well, make sure to attend that event and we'll give you all the good details. Uh, next port of award. So um, the mentor applications have been open for kind of a bit now, but there is still some time to apply. So if you would like to be a part of this amazing program, make sure to hit that um, subscribe button, that, that, that link, and you'll be able to join this amazing program. Thank you so much. Uh, and I'd like to pass it off now to Shell Hacks. Thank you so much, Azar. And it is impossible to follow that with that energy. But hello, everybody. My name is Yasmin Abdravo. No, it's not. Um, hey, guys. My name is Kevin. I am the co director for uh, EP Shell Hacks. And I'm here to talk to you guys a bit about what Shell Hacks is and exactly why you guys should come. And the answer is yes, you should all come to Shell Hacks. And I'll tell you why. Hit it, Matt. So our goal. So our goal with Shell Hacks is basically to involve students in hackathons and allow them to grow their skills and connect with industry experts. First and foremost, because a lot of people don't ever know what hackathons are, maybe you've never heard of it, you've never come to one. So a hackathon is traditionally a 24 to 48 hour event where basically, normally uh, you would be hosted at a university in the past we hosted Shell Hacks uh, at FIU. This year it's gonna be online though, so it's way more accessible to everybody. But the main point of it is um, you can come together in teams of one to four people. You can come together and basically build projects. We're going to give you guys uh, mentors. We're going to give you guys workshops. We're going to give you guys activities to use to network. And you're going to be able to connect, most importantly, with a lot of awesome sponsors, including Raid Shadow Legends, Raycon. No, I'm kidding. We have actually really good, really good sponsors. You're going to see some of our favorite sponsors next. Um, but yeah, some of the benefits that come with uh, coming with uh, and being a part of Shell Hacks and our programs uh, are you get to participate in our, in our events, obviously Shell Hacks being our biggest one, but in the past we have also hosted Panther Hacks, hopefully some of you guys here were able to go to that, and we've also hosted for all of my game developers out there, in the past we have hosted the Global Game Jam, um, we will probably continue to be hosting the Global Game Jam as uh, the host of our jam site. Um, for those of you who don't know what a Global Game Jam is, it is a hackathon but for game development. Uh, the main benefits of coming to our events, like I said, you get access to workshops, uh, you get to interact with other people, but most importantly you get to network with industry expert, experts, and you get to build really cool prizes that allow you to build your resume and you can win some prizes from your projects as well. So next slide. So these are right here, uh, some of our pictures from, uh, actually some of them are from Global Game Jam, some of those are from uh, Shaw Hacks and some of them are from our hackers activities that we've done. The one in the middle is actually from uh, our last hack night activity, which we will be doing one again for Shaw Hacks. So, so you know, keep an eye on that. And next slide. And alas, yes, this graphic is awesome. You guys are correct. Uh, you can thank our awesome marketing team uh, for it. So all you guys need to know about Shell Hacks is it's going to be happening September 25th to the 27th. Uh, you definitely should apply to it, shellhacks.net. You guys can go in, you can make uh, an account, and all you have to do is go ahead and fill out an application. It's quick, it's simple, and I promise you, you won't regret it. You know, in the past, we've had some people that are not able to make it for transportation reasons, things like that. This year, it's online, but I promise you, we're working hard to bring you guys all of the Shell Hacks fitness that we can. Um, next slide. So uh, our virtual hackathon. So in the past, we have had a thousand plus students, last Shell Hacks, making us the biggest hackathon in Florida. Yes, we are really good, you guys are correct. Um, we have had 50 plus sponsors. So just some of the top of the head, some of our sponsors include Microsoft. Uh, yeah, there you go. Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, JP Morgan, uh, Google. I mean, if you guys actually just go to the shellhacks.net website, you'll see we have all the logos for a bunch of sponsors. You guys should just go, I promise you, you will not regret it. Uh, we have hosted 20 plus workshops, a lot of them being taught by our industry sponsors. You guys can get experience of the technologies that they use or just get an insight into the companies that you guys will be applying to. Uh, you get access to a lot of activities that you guys get to interact with each other. A lot of the times you get to interact with sponsors. 
who can say that they've done uh, yoga with Nike recruiters? Well, if you went to Shahak's last year and you went to our yoga activity, you can say that. Um, we have a lot more awesome stuff as well that's going to be coming for you guys. Next slide. So this is one of our pictures for our opening ceremony. Uh, it was pretty packed in there. Alas, that's the reason that we we're choosing to go online to keep everybody safe. That definitely does not meet COVID regulation. Um, we barely met FIU's fire safety regulation, you know, but it was still really awesome to see that many people there. Um, so go ahead, Matt. And this right here is basically a quick little video that was put together by uh, FIU last year showing some of the awesome stuff that you guys can get at Shell Hacks. Go ahead. Absolutely everything's awesome about Shell Hacks. I want to see all of you guys create something awesome. <laughs> Shell Hacks is a place where you get to meet new people, create new experiences, and build connections. We all have crazy ideas and we all get along, and it's one of those things where we're around like-minded people and it's exciting. We just recently have been branded as the largest hackathon in all of Florida. Since it's my first time at Shell Hacks, being able to experience all of this, I really want to come away from it with a lot of things learned. I just love the feeling of being at a hackathon and I love to recreate that experience for other students by hosting one as big as this. Building things is great, but when you can build something that actually makes a meaningful change in the world, that's what actually makes a hackathon worth coming to. Me and my group wanted to do something with like hurricanes kind of, well, with the whole Bahamas thing going on. So the, our project is um, concentrating on taking bias out of the uh, interview process. We're working on a secure way of enabling people who might not have been able to otherwise register to vote. If you have a vision, if you have a team, you can make anything. Remember this event as one of the best ones that you've attended during this period of your student years. <laughs> Everyone piled in my Jeep, we drove the whatever, two, three hours to get here. Uh, I did see somebody sleep on a blow-up uh, flamingo, so that was interesting. That was very interesting. It has been so it's been fun. Great. Yeah, it's been an amazing experience. The things that they, the students have come up with, how long they've been here, we're just blown away. I'm um, really looking forward to seeing what other people have hacked, along with seeing how far and how well my project holds up against everyone else. I love the whole creative experience where we come up with an idea and then try to solve all the problems that come with trying to implement that idea, and it's just a lot of fun. My team is a crack team, if you will. A bunch of different people with a bunch of different skills, um, and we're learning on the fly as we go. You know, it's open to everyone where you're included and where you have a voice, and you can basically change the world. You know, we all get together, there's somebody working over there, somebody sleeping over there. That's how it's always been, and this is the way we like it. <laughs> FIU! Um, so yeah, uh, next slide. Yeah, uh, so I hope that that convinced you guys to come to Shell Hacks. If it did not, I mean, come on, you guys, I promise you, you will not regret it. And with that, I would like to pass it off to the very handsome, uh, lusciously haired gentleman that you guys saw tell you guys that he wants to see you build something awesome, my friend Adrian Perez. All right, so... I am not Adrian Perez. I don't think he's here today. I don't think he can make it, but I'm gonna go ahead and talk about Discover anyways. <laughs> so let's get started. So what is Discover, right? Discover is a program research led by students with the goal of helping students to discover their passion for research, all right? So the benefits of joining this program are you can be a part of student-led research. Normally when you do research at an academia at FIU, you're gonna be doing your research led by professors and you're basically just going to be following their lead you're not going to really be able to go into fields that you want to go to but with you with up discover you get to research into the fields that you want to research you get to follow your passion and learn about things that you want to learn about you can lead your own research efforts and publish papers that matter to you not to a professor that you have to work for and you can work directly with like-minded faculty and students in your area of interest all right our current areas of research for discover are artificial intelligence specifically deep fake detection led by John Quido Graham, our historian, and also the lead of this team. He aims to detect deep face faked, I can't see that part because it's covered by the Zoom thing, deep faked elements in video and audio streams 
and main areas of work are deep learning and computer vision, all right? So if this interests you, I highly encourage you guys to apply at the link at the end of this. Oh, why does it do that? Jeez. So our open roles are research project lead, where you can lead a team in the area of research that matters most to you. If you apply to this position, we'll connect you with professors and form a team of students that fits your needs, and you will get our full support in publication endeavors and in supplying our resources, all right? You can also apply to be a project manager in which you can engage in research, assist your team in setting well-defined goals, and outline the current state-of-the-art methods and create solutions to drive your team forward, all right? And lastly, you can apply to be a student researcher in which you can engage in research, actively find and tackle tough problems through coding, mathematics, or any other tool of your choice, and meet goals made by the team in the effort of creating novel, interesting solutions that can be published by the end of the year, all right? So if this interests you, which it should, because research is pretty cool, you can apply now at the same link as always, go.fiu.edu forward slash UPE programs. All right. And I think that's it for the program. So if we can just do a quick silent round of applause for all the program directors, because wow, we have a lot of stuff going on this year, despite COVID. So next up, we have some major announcements to give. All right. So first of all, we have our induction as always, right? So our induction, there's a couple of requirements, right? So the only requirements really are, oh God, why did they get that picture of me? You have to be a technology major, which is either CS, IT, or computer engineering. You have to have a 3.0 or plus GPA, and you have to have at least 45 credits remaining in your major, I think, right? Or is it, you have to have at least 45 credits? No, you have to have at least 45 credits, okay? So if you're a rising senior, you're a rising junior, feel free to apply for this, okay? Your benefits are, you gain access to exclusive UPE scholarships. You gain access to graduation memorabilia. In fact, I have some right here. You get these cords right here, which are real nice. And you get this fancy schmancy metal, which nobody else gets. So if this looks interesting to you, which it should, you should feel free to apply for induction when we send out the email. You also get a stole, but I don't think I have that here. So induction is by invitation only if you are eligible for induction and you're a member of upe we will send you an email by the end of the semester so make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that email all right we also have la via so kind of sad la via was the um <laughs> la via was our hot spot before covid and it still is but it is currently the home of upsilon papsilon if you go to pg6 we are in the main lobby you take a left you take a right into the really creepy looking maintenance hallway you take another right and then La Via is on your left, okay? So when everything gets back up and we're back to being in person again, hopefully we can all hang out in La Via like old times, right? It smells like paint, honestly. So I think this was Azar, right? Azar, you wanted to speak for this part? Let me unmute you real quick. Yes, so I'm completely not totally someone different. I'm kidding, all right, okay, I'm kidding, okay. So I'm the director of the, oh, well, hi everyone. Uh, it's me again. Um, this semester, we are bringing a new initiative to FIU called Developer Student Clubs. And we're very excited to be um, collaborating with Upsilon Pi Upsilon this fall to be bringing amazing stuff to UP, uh, UPE and for the whole community as a whole. Next, please. So our goal for Google DSE is to bridge the gap between theory and practice for students at FIU. Our goal is to be a place for students where they can forget about school, they can forget about um, all, all sorts of responsibilities. This could be a safe place for students to develop and create projects with other like-minded people as a whole. And uh, some of the many benefits that um, members will have uh, when collaborating with UPE, um, at, for UPE members that they have, is that we will be hosting exclusive DSC events in partnership with UPE. We're gonna be hosting a Google events on the, the latest Google technologies, such as Flutter, Firebase, Go, um, everything about the Google Cloud platform, you name it, we're gonna be bringing all of the best content. And that segues into my next content, my next point, you'll get exclusive access to the, um, to the GCP form, um, platform where you will be able to actually test out all the dozens and dozens of the um, available resources that are available on the Google Cloud platform, such as like Cloud Vision AI, um, uh, Firebase, all of that different stuff in a risk-free environment and uh, 
through all sorts of servers. And um, in the fall, what we also, we, uh, in addition to hosting workshops, we also are hosting the Solution Challenge this fall. The Solution Challenge is a competition that Google hosts every single year and allows the, um, developer student clubs to participate. You get in teams of four and you build a project that is meant to impact your community. So um, when the applications go out this fall for that, um, for the solution challenge, we will be opening it up exclusively to UPE members first. So be on the lookout for that in October. And yes, and so uh, you will be hearing more from us within the next few weeks. But for now, uh, you could, if you want to know more about us, you could follow our Instagram page um, at, at DSEFIU that I just posted in the chat. Uh, thank you so much. And I can't wait to be um, collaborating, or DSC can't wait to be collaborating with UB and make some awesome events. Thanks so much. All right. So that's just great energy. When he started lifting off, listing off all the Google products, that was impressive. So we've also made a partnership with the FIU Honors College this semester to provide points and hours just from attending our events. Like, wow, it doesn't get any better than that. It's free points just for attending events that you're gonna to wanna to be attending anyways, right? And we've also, thanks to Shauna Sit and our beautiful marketing team, we have updated our branding. So this year we have a fresh new look, all right? So lastly, we have some special UPE gifts for you guys. If you guys want the same cool, awesome Discord or Discord Zoom backgrounds that me and the rest of the eboard have, go ahead and look at go.fiu.edu forward slash UPE Zoom. We have many different backgrounds for every single program. So if you just love the nice purple shades of advanced, you can go ahead and pick out that advanced background. If you love the uh, pink and blue sort of fidget spinner looking stuff of shell hacks, you get one for that too, um, product pending because that one's taking a little longer. So it's just really awesome. And lastly, I know a bunch of you guys are probably upset because one of the coolest things about coming to the general meeting is you get to leave with a free t-shirt, right? Although obviously we can't really do that now because we're not in person and I can't like give you a t-shirt over the computer. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna be doing a point system from now on for all UPE events. These points at the end of the year can be redeemed for special swag that you'd get normally. So you'd get your t-shirts, your hats, and even more some special stuff that was never previously obtainable before. All right. Honestly though, just quick round of applause to Shauna because this marketing is on point, Jesus. All right, so here's how the point system works. You get points by being involved with UPE's programs and activities, all right? Members who earn enough points can redeem them for swag at the end of the year, and the top 10 point earners get a super special little extra surprise just to acknowledge how awesome you are for supporting UPE so much, all right? So how do you get your swag? Well, it's simple. First, you gotta get some points, all right? So all 97 of you who are here, you're on the right track, okay? At the semester's end, we're gonna tally up all the points that everyone's earned over the semester, and we're gonna be requesting information from those who have enough points. And when this class ends, we will be shipping all this swag to you, direct to your door, all right? Harry's Race has got nothing on us. We're gonna send you a UPE subscription box. So it's not really a subscription box, disclaimer. So if that interests you, if anything that you heard here interests you, our membership application once more is at go.fiu.edu forward slash UPE member. And if you want to apply to any of the awesome programs you just heard about in this presentation, the link is go.fau.edu forward slash UPE programs. All right. Lastly, we have recently reworked our Discord server. Thanks again to the awesome efforts by our Discord rework team. So please feel free to join us at our online community for UPE and all of its programs at discord.gg forward slash UPEFIU. All right. One of the cooler aspects about this server as opposed to how I previously had it is we have now united all of our program discords into one single server. So everything having to do with UPE, you can be in one place and you can chat with every single member of our organization. It's really an unprecedented amount of activity in there. It's a lot of fun to be in. So God, I see you as all right down there. So make sure to be there and hang out with us, all right? Lastly, also make sure to follow us on social media. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. We are at UPFIU and hashtag UPFIU. Lastly, we have our website, UPFIU.io. You can also contact us at UPE at FIU.edu. All right. 
Now, here's the fun part. This is the special surprise at the end, okay? We have our special spring 2021 Discord role for anyone who's in our Discord server. So one of the super special rewards for the top 10 people who get points is a special Discord role on our server. But here's the catch. We haven't made the role yet. So we're going to need your help deciding what the role is going to be, what the name is going to be, and what the color is going to be. So at this point, you're going to go ahead and go into the chat, and you are going to just shout out suggestions for what you want this role to be. All right, just shout it out. Whatever gets the most shouts, that's going to be the role that we're going to pick. We're contractually obligated, unless it's vulgar. Please don't make it vulgar. Okay, I see Meme Master, I see Ramification, I see Kino, I see Student McStudent Face, <laughs> of course. Contractually obligated role, F Pog Champion. I see two votes for Student McStudent Face. Oh my goodness. I, I see Doomer Lord, I see Hype Man, I see Kino. We're gonna take all of these suggestions and we're gonna make a Discord poll at after the meeting's over. So make sure to vote in the Discord poll for your favorite name. And the one that gets the most votes will be the name. They also vote for the color as well. I don't know what color we're gonna make this, but um, yeah, it'll be a cool color, that's for sure. So I see Pog, I see Social Leader, I see UPE member 001. I see another student McStudent face. You see, what did I tell you guys? I told you they were gonna say student McStudent face. Like, I, I told you. We have not a Discord bot. We have Poggers. Man, you guys are just so creative. This is the internet at its finest, I'm telling you. All right. <laughs> Keep shouting those suggestions out in the chat. You're trained in ESP. It's all down here. Still, it's all downhill from here. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Keep shouting out those suggestions. I'm going to make sure to, yeah, the chat saves when we save the recording. So we're going to have all of these memorialized in the archive for all time. So just remember that. <laughs> All right, I think we've had enough suggestions so far. So we're going to save these. We're going to pick out the sane ones and we're going to vote on them in the Discord chat. So thank you all for coming today. It has been a pleasure seeing everybody here. It's just so nice to have all of us, all of you guys here. It's been a long time coming. So we are looking forward to seeing you guys for our events for the rest of the semester. Thank you all for coming so much. All right, have a good one. Pretty wave. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. I'm just having everyone awkwardly stare at the camera for 15 seconds. Yeah, bye. <laughs> All right, I think now it's going to end. All right, make sure to join programs too if you haven't. All right, bye. Bye.